Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about SQL limit or top clause. So limit or top clause in SQL will help you to fetch the specified number of rows. Say for example, usually in the practical scenarios, when you are searching the database tables, there might be thousands and thousands of rows. And if you try to fetch all of them using select star from a particular table, it will return all of those rows. And if there are huge number of rows and data within those tables, it hits the database performance. You might not be needing all the data that you want to look for or basically search all the rows in the table, right? You will be either say, for example, if there is some very specific data you are looking for, you might be looking for something limit or top you you want to select the top queries or top rows or limit the search with the certain criteria so that only limited number of rows are being displayed so that's where limit or top clause will be helpful and we'll see how we are going to use it so if it, it is helpful helpful in a large set of data to be fetched from the table now for different databases so for example sql server or ms access it is uh, you will use top clause right if you are using mysql database it is a limit so depending which database you are using you have to use either limit or top so i have mentioned here for mysql it is limit and for oracle it is basically fetch so you select star from customer and then fetch first three rows only so something like that right so limit top or fetch is what you will be looking for okay so the key thing to remember here is that if you are using sql uh, microsoft sql server it is basically top mysql is limit and oracle is fetch right so these are some of the clauses now we are using mysql let's go back and see how you are going to use limit to limit the number of rows that are being displayed in the result set okay so here i am i'll use this database that we have created rcb online shop so this is the command for that um after we have selected that database then we will write the query so ideally if i just say select star from customer this is my one of the table as you can see here customer and order tables are there if i run this you will see it has displayed me all of these uh, records right so 12 rows are re returned so basically this table contains only 12 rows now if you have 12 rows or limited number of rows that's not a problem but in practical scenarios you will be having a huge set of data wherein you could have millions of rows there so in that case your limit clause will be helpful so what you can do is say for example out of those records or rows i just want to fetch first five or certain number of records so what i can do is from customer and then a limit i'll say five right so what this means is that it will limit the result set only to five so only five records will be displayed in that particular case so if i run this you will see only five of them have been displayed so that is what the limit clause will basically help you to do right so if you see here you will see that i can specify the amount of rows that i can fetch based on this limit clause right so i've specified five so far only five rows are being displayed now if i want to specify some other number i simply need to change this limit so for example i want to display eight then simply change that number and rest everything will remain same and you will get eight rows being displayed if you see highlighted here right so only eight rows are being returned now with this limit what else you can do i can also specify some of the conditions right so what i can do is i can simply say uh, select star from customer and then i can say where uh, just say for example country right so i want to specify uh, the condition on the country where country country is usa okay and then i want to limit those values or basically the result set so here there is a condition so if i run just this without limit okay let me remove this so let's see how many records are being displayed okay so based on this condition there are these many records so three records are being displayed now out of these three records if i want to again filter only a certain number of records to be displayed then i'll use limit and i will say out of three just just display two right because there are three i just want to show you that only two will be displayed if i limit it to two in real scenarios you will having a you will be having a large set of data and then you can filter based on these criteria that i am showing here so if i run this now you will see only two of the records are being displayed if i don't use this limit right then all of the records that 
fulfill uh, this particular criteria will get okay so in this case 3 7 and 11 are displayed and if i use limit two then only three and seven will be displayed in that particular case right you'll see that so this is basically what limit or top um, operators or basically the clause will do for you and uh, uh, fetch is for oracle okay so uh, go back yep so um, top limit or fetch so basically based on different databases you have to see which one will be used in that particular database but the idea behind that all of these are same so it's basically to limit the amount of result set or the data rows in the result set based on the criteria okay so that's all for this tutorial on limit or top class i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching